Good morning, guys. Welcome to another video by Antiques Arena. My name is Walter O'Neill, and today we're going to have a look at a load of banknotes. Before I do, I want to introduce myself. Um, as I've said, my name, um, I'm a UK reseller. I go around charity shops, car boot sales, antique fairs, thrift stores. Um, I have people bring stuff in to me at my little antique shop, and I try and flip the stuff for a profit either here in my shop or on eBay. Well, last Saturday, I went to the car boot sale with my daughter and obviously filmed a little bit and showed you some of what I bought. And in amongst the, the lot I bought was an entire collection of banknotes. So today's video is probably going to be a long video. So what I'm going to do before we start the research, I'm going to give you a little look at all the banknotes I've got because there's 57 banknotes in total I paid £70 from. Now, that's a little over a pound each, which isn't a lot. Every single banknote in here is mint and uncirculated. Um, but as I say, I'm going to research every single one of them. So it's going to be a long video. I don't know whether I've overpaid at £70, pound, uh, a pound or each, but some banknotes are worthless. Um, so you can have a look at the banknotes, and if you don't want to stick around for all the valuations, um, then that's fine. But I'm going to simply just do sold listings on eBay for every banknote I've got and have a look, see if I can actually find anything. I'm going to screen share the search in. So you're actually going to be live searching with me to see if any of these are worth anything. So we'll start off. I got, I got, I got to get used to this camera because to go left, I got to actually go right. It's quite shocking. So I'm going to give you a little glimpse at the banknotes we got. Once I've shown you all the banknotes, then we'll um, start the research. There's 57, and they are all, every single one of them, as I've said, is mint, uncirculated. I've even got a $10 billion banknote in you guys. Chinese notes, five pence, sir, ex serviceman's note, or, you know, military voucher. Uh, this folder itself is going to be worth a few pounds. So when I sell the banknotes off, the folder then can also be sold. So, uh, struggling by here. That might be easier. Do. <laughs> But yeah, as I said, 57 of them. And as you can see, not a single one of these has ever been circulated. It is $10 billion. I'm a billionaire. Yeah, it is uh, not worth $10 billion, eh? But some of these are going to be hard. Now, I'm not a, a dealer in banknotes as a rule. I'll buy anything that I think I can turn a profit on, but... Searching them, it's going to be fun. I have no idea how to search them. I'm just going to wing it and see whether or not I get anywhere at all. And that's the end of them. So, 57 banknotes in total, guys. And I'm just going to start at the beginning and work my way through. Anything that is worth money, I'm going to actually pull out of the folder and put aside. Uh, all the rest then, well, I'm expecting the majority of them to be worth a couple of pounds. But I'm hoping, I'm really, really hoping there's a gem in here worth you know, a bit of money. Otherwise, it's going to be a long, slow haul of getting my money back at two and three pounds each. But what we'll do, we'll uh, get started and we'll have a little look. We'll do a screen share now and... We'll, um, yeah, <laughs> we'll see if there's any value here whatsoever. Feel free to leave any comments. I will get back to you. Um, obviously, I'll answer all comments. It may take a little while, but I do get there. And add to the screen. And then I'm going to go over to eBay. So you should be able to see me and my eBay. So we're going to search for 1,000 Afghanis. And 
I want sold listings. I'll come down here. I want worldwide, and I also want highest priced. I want to know what the highest price achieved for these is, and we'll obviously browse the rest of it. Right then, so the Afghani's bank note I got looks like so. Um, so let's scroll down until we find it. I don't know the year. Obviously, I'm passing all the one, but looking at this, it doesn't look like they're worth a lot of money anyway. They're selling them by the sheets. Are they? No, they're not. They show in sheets, remember, they're not selling them by the sheets. Ah, they're awful crafty on the way they do these listings. There's the one I got. But there. But they're selling 25 of them. Ouch. Right, let's scroll down for a single. There it is. 1979 Afghan 1000 collection lot M93. So they had a fiver for it there. Let me write the date down. 1979. Don't worry, I'll do it later. Uh, any others? Uh, £2.50, but there. So, £2.50 for there and £5 up above. So, there's no real value in that one. We got a 500 Afghanis. And if the 1,000 is not worth a fortune, I don't think the 500 will be. But what I'll probably do with the Afghans, sell them as a collection 500, 150. 500 Afghanis. And this one is. It. Is this worth anything? Let's find out. Probably not. So we got the horseman. Right then. I love doing this part because you never know if anything good's gonna come up, but I'm already disappointed with the Afghanis after seeing the thousand. Should have started small, really. Look at that, look. A Marco Polo sheep Afghani 500. That's probably a silver coin. £150. I have to look out for them. That's something to look out for. Right. What I'm going to have to do quickly is change this to bank note. Uh, and now we won't have all the rest of it. That's better. We just got bank notes. Right. And we got the horseman. And the way I'm feeling about now is the four horsemen of the apocalypse. <laughs> you can see what I mean about the four horsemen. Well, we have a job lot of 100 here for £35. In 1979 to 1991. Any others? I want the singles, I do. There is, ooh, there's an Afghani, but there, 500. We haven't gone sold, have we? Let me go back. That can't be sold priced. It is, that's sold listings. Did they sell that then? Sounds a good price, 35 pounds. Ah, from China, mind. Do you know what? I'm going to change that. Let's just search UK. Just keep it simple. Uh, we're still looking for the four horsemen. There we have it there. 500 Afghanis banknote, uncirculated. So that one's actually worth more than the 1,000. That one's worth a tenner. So that's looking up because we're, um, if I do the 1,000, 500, 150, it might be a nice job lot for 20 quid sort of thing. Let's have a look at the 100 Afghanis. Then this is the uh, 100 that I have. Uh, 
uh, scroll down, scroll down. Why are they? They are sold listings. So these are all sold. There it is there, £2.39 again and £2 underneath. No, that's a different one. £2.39. Uncirculated. So we got sort of £14, £15 worth by there so far for those three banknotes. And the next one is a 50. So let's have a look here. It's as simple as this to just search your prices on anything sold. All you've got to do is just go in the search. I obviously don't know the years of these, so I'm just simply typing in what the currency is and scrolling through till I find a match. It is really that simple. There's obviously easier ways. Know your subject. But I'm a general dealer, guys. There we are, £4. So, realistically... These three Afghan notes, I, uh, four Afghani notes, I can ask probably 20 quid and take an offer. So let's assume I'm going to get £15, but there's 20 quid per day for those four. So that's actually a good, encouraging start. I'm actually surprised at that. So what's the next one? Deniros. Ten Deniros. Peru notes. I think it's a De Niro. Let's have a look. It's a ten. And De Niro. Yep, ten De Niro. No, that's a Bank of Scotland note. Right, what's the Peru note? Bank note. Let's go. P E R U Peru bank notes. Souls. What is that? The souls. It must be souls. S O L E S. Ten. S O L E S. Ten souls, but no. And we're looking for people in the cotton field, I think. That's what we're looking for. So let's see if we can see anybody like that. On the other side, we got a Google man. Okay, back to the top. Why have we not got one of these? Is it a soul? It's going to be souls, that's what we use it. Hmm. Well, I was saying how easy it was, but uh, clearly <laughs> it does help if you know the currency. But nah, we're finding out. Right, well, we haven't got one of them on there. So either I'm searching for the wrong currency or there's none on there. So let's move on and have a look. Dollars. Christ, look at the price on that. An 18.79 Peru, 50 sols, £310. It is money in banknotes. Encourages me to say, well, you never know, they might be a good one in you. 
Now this one's got a funny goatee. I like that. That's him there. Four pound fifty. No, that says five thousand souls. But that's him. Right then. Uh, so it is souls. So I don't know why there are ten souls haven't come up. And then English. Right, well, that's two that we haven't got. Which means I'm also going to assume the 100. I think I'm searching it wrong. It's got to be. Let's change this. Uh, C I E N I N T I S. What's that say? Right. It wasn't souls. It was. I can't even pronounce it. Anyway. There's the 100 I got for two pound and two pound 99. So we'll now search the um, the others quickly. So we got a 50 and a 10 of the same. So we'll do 50. That's a hundred, hundred, 50. There he is, 99 pence, which is pretty crap. So the 10 ain't gonna be much either. But there was money in some of the Peru ones, as we just saw. Did I find the one in the field? No, but I'm going to base it off the others that it's low value. So these ones, I'm probably going to put in a job lot. They're a job lot. Eh? Little to no value in those. What's the next ones we got? Millinters. Okay. Mill. So we got 1,000. There we have him. Two ninety nine. Same. It's a Peru one again. So I'm going to put all the Peru ones together, and I'll do a job lot of Peru by the looks of it. Those other ones are what? Let's say two quid in all. Two four six, three quid nine. We're up to ten already, near enough. Uh, let's keep going. Oh, I got another thousand mils here, and it's a different one. This is a Mill Crusados. And there it is, £1.95. Crap again. Eh, disappointing. And this one. Yes. Do that. 500 and this is the 500 note I've got and there he is there on the very top 99 pence so again low low value very disappointing. Okay. Careful now, I don't want to damage these notes, get them out. That's a pretty one. Nice little horse. Right then, so let's get rid of that. So we got a 20. Pesos. And what we're looking for is that one, guys. It's got a pretty little horse on 
one there. So we're looking for the one with the horse. Let's take that off. Let's just do a pass on. There it is. Woo. That's worth opening up and looking at. New design, 20 pesos, 2017. That's not what I got. A slight variation on that. Is it? No, I think that is the bank band. That's what I got. Have I got any money by there then? Let's have a look. It could also be the serial number. Three. I've actually got a smaller serial number than him. My serial number is 33775488. So I'm smaller serial number than him. That's the bank note. Let's go see if there's any more on there for no money. But they've actually sold that. Hang on. How many of them is it? Argentina, 20 pesos. He serial number a bundle. There's a hundred of them in there, right? That's getting. I was really thinking we were on to something below. Let's have a look how much a single is then. And we're coming down the price. I'm going to cry. The uh. Ten of them there for tenner. Mm, I'm gonna be pretty confident and say it's worth a pound or two again. Uh, what we got here? It's, it's a three pesos. I'm pretty confident. I'm not even. Oh, it's Republic of Cuba. We we'll search it as a different area. Uh, three, three pesos. Um, we got there. Uh, There it is. Yeah, seven pound. That's not too bad. We'll put that one aside separately. That's actually worth a couple of pound. And move on. What have we got here? Oh, China. Don't they use yen? I think it's yen for China. Because there's nothing wrote on the note that I can use. Well, we'll have a look anyway. I think it's the yen. Um, what we got? 200. Well, I'm assuming China. It could be Korea. It could be, it could be anyway. Uh, let's have a look what we got. It's got flowers. Likelihood is then it's not a yen. Right. Um see that one might be a little more difficult to research. Because it doesn't say the currency next to the number. So we we'll put that one aside, we'll have a look at that then. So it looks like it's Chinese, see? I got a hundred year, 1992 hundred banknote. It looks Chinese. I wonder if it's like Hong Kong or something like that. I'm going to have to have a look. Yeah. 
There's another way of doing it, which is just do the hard way. It's 122 of 1992 100 banknotes. I suppose at least this way I can find out what currency it is. Korean, maybe. What do they call it? Specimen notes, just Korea. That looks like him. That's it. That's the man. So the Korean banknotes, not Chinese. So what currency is that? Uh, N Korea specimen notes. That don't bloody help. Right. Let's just search Korea then. And back. All right. 100. Hundred career bank note. Let's have a look if I can find anything with that. One there. That's a one anyway. That's one. And they hundred the end. Nineteen seventy eight, that's the same block. Different note. It is a one. So let's do one. Aha. Uh -huh. Let's see if we can find you now. Yeah. Yeah, there it is, but there. 1978, Korea, 101, uncirculated banknote, all up for two pounds. <laughs> oh, well, let's have a look at the uh, 200 then, is it? I'm pretty confident that's going to be the same town, country, whatever you want to call it. And we've just got a bunch of flowers on this one. There they are. Ooh. Two banknotes there, mine to no one. Single, but they is it a single 200? That's the 95th anniversary. That's worth a fiver. So, I'll put the Korean one. Well, I'll just probably keep the country separate to be honest with it. I think. And we have a 5,000 as well. Let's see if that's worth anything. At least now we know the currency is a one. I won. Not really. Right then, 5,001. And we've got the same chap. He's a popular chap, and he's on all the bloody notes. Over here, we've got different people on ours. There we have it, £1.80. Waste no more time on that. Okie dokie, we have a few British Armed Forces. Let's see if there's any money in these. British Armed Forces, uncirculated, five pence. One pound, British Armed Forces. And British Armed Forces, one pound again. Is that the same one? No, they are they are different. These two are different, so right then. Da -da. British Arms Forces, no, nope, let's do 5p. And well, there's a full set there, which don't look promising. And five pennies, one pound. Crap. 
Okay, British Armed Forces. One pound. We got two of these. Any value in these? Oh, look at that. British Arms Forces, first series, fine band, not 210 pound. So you can't just dismiss the stuff, can you? You've got to check it. You just don't know. And we're looking for a pound, a pound, a pound, a pound. It's not looking brilliant, that's for sure, guys. There's a pound there. That's 1947, I have no idea. I have, you know, that's the one. That's the one of them there. And so that one's a fiver. So I'm assuming that one's about the same. Yeah, I think I'll just put the group of the three British banknotes on for a ten and see if somebody makes me an offer. They'll go on as a group of three. Right there, what we got here? General Bank of Iran, fifty dinars. Iraq, sorry. I don't know where Iran come from. Diners. Good. And that's the one there. And there he is on the top of the screen for one pounds fifty pence. That's what you call crap. I really hope there's something decent in here. I really do. Um, what are you? Absolutely no idea. We'll get back to that one. And we have that. Hmm. That's an interesting note. Looks a bit like the one from earlier, but it's a different man. So I'm going to try yen on this one. So we're going to go for 100. I'm going to try yen, but I don't know. We're scrolling down, looking for this chap again. Looks quite an important fellow. Yeah, so it's not a yen. We haven't got a date, have we? Oh, 1978. Right then. So we got 51 to go through. Let's find out what currency it is. Korea, ones again. So it's worth a pound from Germany. Ah, disappointing. What we got here? Well, we got some German notes. Home. So we got. Two, one, two, three, four. Mark. Just Switzerland. Yeah, Switzerland, not German. 
There's a mark. You look at that. Right. So it is Jeremy, right. That's the one I got. Six pound belay. Or two pound belay. Okay, so between two pound and six pound. One hundred diners. Give a little look. Now this is the actual first time I'm going through this folder. I haven't looked at any of these banknotes. So they could be a gem or they could all just be low value like this. Probably all gonna be low value. I'm not gonna lose no money looking at it, but I'm not gonna make a fortune if it keeps up at this rate. Look at that. Some of these aren't asking good money on them. Mine, mine's got a tower in the set. I got a date on it. I couldn't read it if I did. Right. Tesla. Mm One hundred diners. One hundred diners. Iraq. Let's just type in Iraq. I R A Q. Sixteen of them. So maybe it's not worth selling on his own individually. Right, is there any of them? Nope, none of those. Worth looking. I'm going to end up spending an hour by air now researching these banknotes. And they look low, low value so far. That's the ones. So again, low value. 44 of them, but they're for 17 pound. I'm starting to regret buying them, I'll be honest with you. It's going to be a fair bit of work. However, I am learning a few things. A hundred diner. Yugoslavia. Ah, oh, we just saw the ones with the Tesla, didn't we? This is the one with the Tesla. Right then, we're looking for Tesla. Where art thou? Let's just type in Tesla. Hundred. None of those.
Yeah, just got one of these on you. So that's a put by for later then, is it? Alright. That's a thousand. Well, it's a thousand by there, and they're only asking a fiver from all, so that's not going to be any value. And this 10 diner one isn't going to be either, then look based on that. So these two are going to be low value again, a couple of pound a piece. It's shocking how many more I got to go, guys. It's a slow process. I tell you, searching these individually anyway. What we got here? 10 good. Yeah, 10 good. I've never even seen banknotes like some of these. So let's have a look. Ten. Should you pay only? You don't want to do worldwide. It's just too much parch. Still the highest price to see what they sell for. Uh, wow. Look at that. Doing adverts now. I don't want adverts. Go away. No, nope, I just killed the wrong thing. Go back. Please come back. Right, then. 10 good. Well, that didn't work because we got nothing at all on that. 10 good note. G O U R D E S. Let's try that. Nothing. Bank Republic of. Deity. D A Y I T I. Bank. Okay, so well, there's none of these on there unless I'm just searching it wrong, but. The currency is there, it's wrote on it. It is what it says on the tin. So that's obviously got to be researched at a later date. But I don't believe that one. I've actually got a few of this bank. That's it. No idea what this is. One. I'll do the date, 1993. No idea what currency this is. It's got a turban on his head. I think it's a turban. So it be India. That's a rupee. Let's try typing this in. T E H I. I forgot to put the spell in. Yeah, no. Again, put it aside. I'm going to research that again. Yeah, Bank of Indonesia. Rupai. Why can't they all be easy? Five. 
500 Um, with this one we have a little monkey or gorilla, whatever you want to call it. Looks like a gorilla. Let's see if we can find this one. Again, you can, it's good money in some of them. Why are we not on UK only? Right there, we're looking for a monkey. There it is. 499 Indonesia. Right then. So he's another fiver. That's not bad. A don behave. One, one, two, three. Dong. And let's just give you a look at the note. So, he almost looks like Mr. Miyagi. Look at that. <laughs> Wax on, wax off. It reminds me of Mr. Miyagi. Right then. We'll last it there. And there's a hundred Vietnam dong by there uh, for 25 quid. So, again, it's going to be a couple of pound not Not even going to go any further. Waste of time. What have we got here? Let's move on. Bring up normal eyes. Leven. Oh, leaves. This is going to be low value, I think. Uh, Uh, we got a bridge and we got a big building at the front. There's mine. Five lefts. Oh, it's actually worth nine pounds. <laughs> That's actually one of my higher ones. <laughs> Lebanon. Oh, well, there you go. Ed. So there's actually a decent note. <laughs> uh, and I wasn't expecting that one to be anything at all. And we have a 10 lefts as well. Let's see what the 10 is. Actually, here it is, but there, and there's five of them for a tenner, so that's a low value. So why is the other one worth a bit more? Oh, we come into the millions, guys. Who wants to see what ten mil, uh, ten billion is worth? Ten billion. Can we retire off ten billion? <laughs> Doesn't it sound good? Right, then let's have a look. Zimbabwe printed that much money. Just well, used just toilet paper. Right, then let's have a look. See one. How many zeros is it? I'm not even going to type how many zeros. Ten. Ten billion. And there it is, three pounds, 33 pence. <laughs> we have a winner, and one pound 59 underneath it. But mine's uncirculated, mint condition. But there's 10 billion by there for three pound 33. Any takers? <laughs> I had a funny feeling that we're gonna be worth a lot. Uh, and we have, what's this one? One, two, three, four, five, zeros. Mill. Okay, let's have a look at this one there. One, one, two, three, four, five. No. And if anybody wants to see the banknote, there you go. We're looking for a building or dam. And that's wrong. M E T I C K I S. Here we have them. There it is. Oh, 14 pound. That's the highest note so far. I don't want to scroll lower. There it is, four pound again. 
Uh, how can they sell her at 14? It don't make sense, does it? Prices are all over the shop on eBay. £14 with one and £4 with another. And these are sold prices. I'm not searching up for sale. Right then, what we got here? I got an entire collection of one country. Let's have a look if I can see what it is. Bank de Azea. I have no idea. We've got a collection of these. All the same country. We're going to see if we can find out what they are now. I'm just going to search the dearest, I think. And if the dear one's worthless, then the lower ones are going to be exactly the same. Let's see if I can find anything on this. Okay, here we go. Wish me a look. What we got? So there are Zeris. Z A I R E S. Z A I R E S. Let's have a look, see if we can find anything. Oh, look at the money on some of these again. Why can't I have some of these ones? Uh... There's my chap. But I've only got five. 1993. That's a 1992. I got a 50, a 5, a 10, and a 1. There's a 10, 5, and a 1, but they're for a 5 And I got the 50 as well. So you're probably looking at a couple of quid a note again. Do you know, I'll probably put these on as a job lot of world notes on online on eBay and make um, just put them on for like 100 quid. Make a small profit and have them gone. So we're on Venezuela. We have a selection of Venezuelan notes. A 10, a 5, and a 2. I'd rather deal with one job lot parcel and take less money than deal with loads and loads of parcels. Just haven't got the head. So I was, um, and we'll have a look. Right, so we got a 10. Let's see if that's it. I got a bird. Oh, man. There he is. Venezuela, 10 bolivars. Uncirculated one pound fifty, and if that's only worth one pound fifty, I can guarantee you the lower notes are going to be worthless too. A couple of quid each again. Well, we got about five pages left. We're running out of options, guys, for a good one. Well, that's exactly the same. Well, it's a twenty, but no, I can't even pronounce it. <laughs> oh God, uh, what was it called? Let's just copy this. Venezuela, copy, let's do a 20. Are we looking for a lady or some turtles? Depending on which way around they photographed it. Done. 
Uh, I'm gonna just assume it's the um, it's the same low value. We got quite a few from this Venezuela. We got the fifty, the one hundred. It might be worth me putting a job lot of Venezuela banknotes on. I might spend the time and actually split them up and just do countries, even if it's like a tenner for four notes. Doesn't matter. So that's the one you just saw with the turtles. We got the 50. I'll probably do a job lot. So I'm going to have, have to have a quick look. I got 50, 100, and 1,000. Yes. Let me search the highest value note a minute. He's got an armadillo. Crunch on the outside, soft on the inside. Right. Uh, Venezuela, 100 mils. 100 mil ball E V A R S E. That's a thousand or a hundred. Right. And then it is there with the armadillos, one pound fifty. Then that country doesn't really hold a lot of value. In the goes in the pot. We have some India banknotes. Okay. Let's see what we got here. The Reserve Bank of India, we have a 20. And we have a 10. And what we got here? Uh, rupees. 20. Rupees, and we got. Is that Gondi? Uh, there it is. 20 rupees and circulate it. Quite a modern one, too. 2015. So some of these notes are not that old. Still nice, I suppose, if you. Um, oh, shoot. You know, if you want to collect notes, what we got here. We know you're not the mystic, right? Then, so what have we got? Bank of India still. So that's going to be two rupees in there. Little tiny banknote. Two rupees. It's got a tiger on the back. I don't know why I'm going highest first. I just want to go lowest price first because that's what they all seem to bloody be. Right at the bottom of the scale. There it is. It's actually a tenner. 1969 to 1970. Okay. Well, on that ground, then we'll have a look what these are. We've got a 500. I'll show you now, guys. To be with me a second. Nineteen eighty-eight. Is that a rupee? I don't know. I don't think that's a rupee. Nineteen eighty-eight. I don't think it is. You know. I don't know what country that is. That's Russia. So what did Russia, Vietnam, down? No. What did Russia use? Russia, Soviet, rubles, R-O-U-B-L-E-S. Uh, 
there it is, is it? That's in oh no twenty. <laughs> They've got it down as KP. So maybe I should have just searched KP. It has got a KP on there. 1988. LAOS, they're calling it. KP. Okay. LAOS. Let's have a look. LAOS. Uh, there she is again. One pound twenty. One pound. So there's no value on that. And we have a 50. Is that the same? No, 50 cats. What's this then? Central Bank of Myanmar. Myanmar. Okay. <laughs> Mm. Let's change that to fifty. Then. There it is. That's a hundred of them for thirty-five pound. Three pound on his own. No, that's for two. <coughs> There's one underneath two, two ninety-nine. It's a nineteen ninety-seven. Uh, and we got 200 kayaks. So we just want to look at it now. Well, yeah, it's nice and easy to search. I'm nearly fun on this one. And there it is on the top for 3.99. I don't even need to go any further. <coughs> I've got three, four, five, six, seven, about eight banknotes left, and the three, of course, which I couldn't figure out what they were. <coughs> So we got a 500 cents. C I N Q. Here's the note. note. And we have building under construction and all that. Hmm. Well, it's a Franks. Let's see if I can search the country. G U I N P E N S. Oh, look at that. 1951, 500 francs banknote specimen, three grand. Nice. Would have been nice to have had one of them.
I think the lowest first because I'm just fed up of searching through thousands, showing me big money when mine are all a pound. Right. There it is. 99 pence. We found her eventually. Sorry, guys. On, a, on another side, I suppose it's an idiot's guide to uh, <laughs> finding banknotes. <laughs> the hard way. Um, what we got here? Yugoslavia again, 100. And we already searched them, and they weren't worth much money. The Yugoslavia notes weren't worth, uh, worth looking at. And we got a 5,000. I'm going to search the bank, it's 5,000 or something. This is what we got. So, Slovakia Koren, K O R U N. Let's Google this. We want Oh, that's a diner. Tell me. Let's go for images. See if I can find it. There it is. There, straight away. First one. 5,000 diners. Why haven't they got bloody diners wrought on it? Right, well, it's not on eBay. Oh, 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 let's have a look. That's the note I got. I don't want to go to YouTube. I want to see what it was worth. That's 50,000. That's what I got, 50,000. Did I search 5,000, did I? Copy. Getting stressed out. That's what I done wrong. I done five thousand diners, not fifty thousand diners. There it is. There. 
all that. <laughs> Uh, I'm gonna shoot myself in about five minutes, guys. I am so sorry. <coughs> right then, so last few notes, and then I want to have a look how much these folders are for the bank notes. Because I would imagine that's ten or twenty quid with all the sleeves. <coughs> so how many sleeves have I got? Here? One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We got about twelve sleeves in there. But we got a few more notes to check through first. What we got here? Can't check that because I can't read a bloody thing on it. Oh, it's Russian. It's okay. Never mind. I can see the Russian symbol. What was it Russia used? Banknote. Copex. That's right. Here we have it there. And it's the Russian symbol below that made me think. I guess Russian symbol, pretty sure. So let's come down and see if I can find the cup here. Maybe it's not a cup X. No. Don't search that again. There's another one at 20. Sorry, I'll show you them. What we got here? Two. Why don't they make life easy to read these bloody bank notes? I won't be finding that one yet. I'll have to research that. Okay. That one's my worst one so far. 55 pence. <laughs> uh, this has not been uh, a good exercise. And we have a Madagascar note there, guys. And he's in a job lot of 2004 Madagascar notes for 23 pence. Right. Right here. So. Let me close that. Go back to there. And remove from my stream. And set back. Set back. Okay. So. That was seriously disappointing. Um. I didn't really add up. I'm going to end up selling them, most of them at £2 a note. So I'm going to probably job lot the entire collection as a collection of uncirculated bank notes from all over the world, 57 of them, and I'm just going to go £2 a note across the board unless someone else worry about it. Um, I'll put them up for £125. If somebody offers me any profit at all, they're gone, literally. So if some 25% is my costs so i need to pull a hundred pound back realistically to break even so anything hundred pound over on ebay their history so i should have looked at this banknote folder let's have a little look while you're still here those of you who are still here
Tens pay, banknote pages. Let's have a look. Let's have a look at the curiosity. One, five. So three forty nine a page. So it's twenty quid's worth in the folder. They've got twelve or thirteen pages plus the folder itself. Add a couple of quid. Or pound a page and then five for the folder so I mean, there's 20 quid in the folder so all in all it's very poor what can i say <laughs> you're probably as disappointed as me with the um, bank notes all these and they amount to hardly anything but it's a current a learning curve there are a few in there that were up you know fivers tenors so there is a profit to be made if somebody wants to make a profit on them. But to be honest with you, for me, I just can't be bothered to split it up, sit down and do all our work. I would rather simply just one job lot, pack it up, forget about it. If it takes a year to sell or two years to sell, somebody will come along and say, hey, do you know what, I love that, I'll split them up, I'll make a couple of quid on them or I'll have them for my collection if they collect in world ones. Um, and if they offer me under a pound, they're gone. That's my money back. It was very, very disappointing exercise. What can I say? <laughs> but we learned something. Not all uncirculated banknotes are worth money. Guys, I'm going to leave it there. Hopefully you've enjoyed having a look and uh, seen the idiot's guide to searching banknotes. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye for now.